welcome back to my channel welcome back to another episode of keeping up with coco if you are new to my channel please make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have watched my videos before and just never gotten to the point to hit the subscribe button please make sure you hit that subscribe button before you continue watching this video once I get to 10,000 subscribers I am giving away $200 all you have to do is subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on Instagram at keeping up with Coco underscore that's K U W U C O C O underscore. Today I am coming to answer all your questions from my previous video. If you haven't seen that video, please make sure you go check it out on how I made thousands of dollars trying out OnlyFans. It was my first time ever doing it and I documented it for you guys and surprisingly it got a lot a lot of attention and you guys had a lot of questions so today I came with answers okay questions that I got like I want to say almost everybody asked me this question was how to market your OnlyFans and how you can you know potentially make a lot of money on OnlyFans so I'm basically just gonna give you guys my little tips how I did it and um, yeah, so I'll answer a few questions. I'm just gonna go on the video and I'm going to read off some of the questions and I'm going to answer it. And um, hopefully this is gonna help you guys and you guys can potentially make billions. <laughs> you know, everybody wants to make money. Um, so somebody asked, so OnlyFans doesn't have to be for anything sexual. You can just be yourself and just be pretty. That's all, right? Okay, well, I'm going to answer that question, okay? OnlyFans is like any other platform, okay? Like Instagram, Twitter, um, it's like any other platform, even YouTube. You can literally post whatever you want to post on your only fans and you can put a subscription fee on it like I said it's all about marketing most people like to say oh um, you're only gonna make a lot of money if you post sexual content yes a lot of the girls that do make over I want to say ten to fifteen thousand um, dollars a month most likely are posting sexual content but like I said, you know, it all depends on what your definition of sexual content is. Some people literally post themselves in a nice two-piece set from Agent Provocateur. And um, they go and they read a book on their OnlyFans and they post it. And people subscribe, okay? People subscribe. You will not believe some of the girls who are in the top 2% of OnlyFans literally have not posted any sexual content and somehow they managed to make over five six thousand dollars on OnlyFans so yes you can literally post whatever you want on OnlyFans and you can still make money like you know you can still make money you just have to market yourself if you're into art painting and stuff maybe paint with a bikini on like I'm sorry like if you can walk outside in a two-piece thong bikini, you can post that on fucking OnlyFans and get money for it. Like, I'm so confused why some people want to sit over here and act on goody two-shoes. Like, you don't walk outside in a two-piece thong bikini set when you're on vacation. Because I know I do it, okay? I was just in the Bahamas with a couple of thongs on. What's wrong with posting that on OnlyFans? If you want to make money, uh, yeah, post that. A lot of you guys post that sort of content on Instagram already anyways. Might as well just maybe clean up your Instagram a little bit and then post that stuff on your OnlyFans and try to make as much money as you can. So someone says, figuring out the taxes is my biggest worry. It's always confusing and the last thing I need is the IRS coming after my ass because I got it wrong. Okay, this is something a lot of people do not know. OnlyFans is legal. It's legal as, okay, you are practically working for yourself. It's considered self-employment, like when you do Uber Eats, DoorDash, Postmates, yeah, all those like self employed um, jobs, that's what OnlyFans kind of falls under. So, when you do create an OnlyFans account, they are going to have you fill out a W 9 tax form 
So that at the end of the year, they send you a W-2 and you know, you can file taxes. And I always try to tell people, I told a lot of people under the comments, at the end of the year, you're not going to be getting any money from the IRS, especially if you only did OnlyFans. Let's say you didn't work a nine to five job, so they weren't taking any money from you. You are going to have to pay the IRS. So I would suggest that you keep a little money on the side so that at the end of the year, you're able to file taxes and you're able to um, pay off your taxes because you saved money. Now, cool thing about this is like you can save your receipts and a lot of the stuff that you use, like let's say you purchase some stuff on Amazon and you decided to use it on your OnlyFans video, you can literally save the receipt and put that under expenses so you can take it out of the taxes. So if you're using anything any objects whatever it is that you're using if you're going to post that on OnlyFans, save the receipt and make sure that at the end of the year you calculate all of that stuff and you're going to deduct it out of your taxes because that's considered expenses when it comes to taxes all i can say is it's legal don't worry about it fill out that w9 tax form like you would be filling it out for a regular nine to five job any job if you have a child Say you have a child. If you don't have a child, say you don't have a child. Don't lie because it's going to come back and bite you in the ass because it's real. Okay? It's considered a real form of employment. Someone said, wow, even your family seeing myself out. <laughs> That's not a question, but it was just, I just saw that comment. It's so funny because um, if you were in the last video, I was like, I don't care if you're my mother, my brother, or my sister. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Seriously, no, like I really had to throw that in there. And even with that, someone said gold digger, like I don't care. I don't care if I am a gold digger, that's fine. Have you seen me under the sun? Do you know how I glow? Like, first of all, I'm even glowing right now. Glow, okay, I glisten. So yes, I do dig for gold, okay? I'm made of gold, cause I go digging. For it and if you have a problem with it see yourself out this is just not the place for you because on this channel we like to get money <laughs> okay <laughs> we like to get money I'm living my best life because I dig for gold now we are going to get into the most important question that was being asked, which was how to market your OnlyFans and the best platform to market your OnlyFans on. We are going to talk about this because this is very important. I notice a lot of you guys do marketing on Instagram. I feel like that's fine. You can market yourself on Instagram, but Instagram is a lot, 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 lot harder. And so I would suggest if you don't have a Twitter account, cut the shit with Instagram. Just cut it up and head over to Twitter. Twitter is where it's at. And I'm gonna explain to you why, to you why it's much easier to not only grow your followers on Twitter, but also get subscribers to your OnlyFans on Twitter. See, on Twitter, you can post whatever sort of content you want to post. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but there is a sex work Twitter, okay? A lot of people don't know this because they have regular Twitter. Regular Twitter, it's, you know, people, um, how can I put this? People post, like, regular shit, you know, walking down the beach, no, 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 sipping wine. That's, that's regular Twitter, okay? Nothing sexual is going on over there. Next work Twitter is where you can post super sexy pictures. If you are into fandom, if you are into OnlyFans, if you are into um, Sugar Baby, Sugar Daddy, whatever, okay? Twitter is the place to be. And what you want to do is tap into that sex work Twitter. Now, how I'm going to show you guys how you can do this, right? So just create a Twitter. Now, a lot of people are like, I want to I want to make a Twitter or I want to make a account, but I don't want to be seen. Okay, so create a persona. A lot of you guys were reaching out to me, asking me for my Twitter. You ain't getting it, okay? Because it's in a different persona. Because at the end of the day, what I do 
on here and what I do on my Instagram are completely two different things than what I do on my Twitter. That's for me and me only. If you are a guy and want to subscribe to my OnlyFans, you have to um, reach out to me on my Instagram and slide in my DM and I will give it to you. But for us, you ladies that want to look at my content, we're not doing that. So yeah, create a fake persona if you don't want your mom, your brother, your sister, everybody. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to throw it over here. I blocked everybody, okay? I literally blocked my mom, my brother, my sister. I blocked the whole world. Even people that my sister knows, I blocked. People my brother knows that I don't know, I blocked. Okay, people that my sister, my mom, I blocked. Okay, if I feel like you might know them and might come across my shit, I'm blocking you. It's just how it's working. <laughs> It's just how it's going down. Like, I'm blocking you. If it ever comes under your recommendation, people you might know, you're never going to pop up under anybody because you don't block everyone and their friends and everything. A lot of people are going to say, sex work, Twitter, oh my god, I just want to do OnlyFans. Well, I hate to break it to you, but if you're going to be on OnlyFans, even if you're going to be taking sexy pictures in your bikini or if you're going to be painting in your bikini or cooking in your bikini and you're selling that that's still sex work i hate to break it to you and a lot of you guys are you know hopping into my dm and shit not knowing that that's what you're getting yourself into it is still considered sex work and so please if 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 if, if you don't like being told that i can't help you you know what? I can't, I just, I can't help. I can only help people who are honest with themselves. Like, you have to be truthful with yourself, okay? You can't be one of those girls, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm doing OnlyFans, but <sighs> that bitch is a hoe. Like, please, make it make sense. So, create your fake persona then what you want to do is get into these pictures see i have floor to ceiling windows so i have perfect lighting i never need lighting i don't even really need lighting for this video right now so my pictures come out banging you know what i'm saying so you want to take advantage of lighting and what you want to do is make sure that your surrounding is really pretty you cannot post pictures of you in a dirty bathroom a dirty kitchen or dirty living room you have underwears on the floor like you need to post clean cute content that's gonna make someone want to see more so you've taken your pictures you're gonna head over to Twitter you're gonna post those pictures on your Twitter account you're gonna post a nice clean sexy picture as your profile and pin tweet maybe post like two cute sexy pictures and like say hey guys i'm new blah 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 to only fans please retweet for a retweet blah blah, blah. and then what you want to do is follow a lot of girls that do the same thing so what i did was basically just go type on twitter only fans <laughs> literally i just typed only fans and then a bunch of girls just start popping up and so what i'll do is click on one girl just start following a lot of the people that she's following and then click on another girl and just follow a lot of the girls that she's following and those girls are going to follow you back now once they follow you back and they go on your profile and they see that you have a pin a pinned tweet basically stating that you are new and you're looking for exposure, a lot of them are going to retweet that tweet for you. And once they do that, it is literally a chain reaction, okay? They are going to follow you and retweet you. And once they retweet you and follow you, other people are going to retweet you and follow you because their followers get to see what they like and what they retweet. And this is why I felt like Instagram doesn't work. Because on Instagram, you literally, unless you care, care, you have to go see what the people that you follow are liking. Okay? On Twitter, they don't give you that option. Okay? It literally just pops up on your feed as soon as you go on Twitter. If someone that you follow from Chicago likes a person's picture from California, 
that person's picture is going to pop up on your feed. And now you're looking at this girl from California that you don't follow. But you might be like, damn, her pictures are cute. Let me follow her. So that's why Twitter is a great, great place for you to market your OnlyFans. Because once those girls start retweeting you, their fans or the guys that follow them or the guys that are subscribed to them get to see you as well. And a lot of them, not trust me, they're not only going to subscribe to one girl, okay? They're going to subscribe to you too. And like I said, if your pictures are banging, they're going to follow you. Now, another thing I would say is when you post pictures on Twitter, do your caption, whatever it is that you're doing. Make sure that you also link your OnlyFans link below. I do this for every tweet, every picture. I don't care. I'm linking my OnlyFans underneath because guess what? Some guys don't want to click on your profile to see that you have an OnlyFans under your um, bio. Okay, they might look at your picture and be like, oh damn, she's cute, and just follow you, but not actually read your bio to see that you have an OnlyFans. But if they see that you have your OnlyFans linked right above the cute picture that they just saw that they really, really like, they're going to be like, oh shit, let me see what else she has. Boom, click on it, and they subscribe. And that's how you make money. So you have to be consistent. Consistency is the key to everything. Wake up every day and post the picture. Wake up every day and post a video. And every day, let them know that you have an OnlyFans and they need to subscribe. You want to post a picture on Twitter. And you want to post a picture on your OnlyFans too because you don't want them to unsubscribe to you. Okay, the biggest thing is to keep these guys as resubscribers, you know. Um, some people will subscribe one time and if you're not consistent and if you're not dropping the content that they want to see, they're not going to, you know, keep subscribing to you. They'll cancel cancel their subscription. So you want to make sure that you're very consistent and you're always dropping content and just taking really banging pictures. That's really all I can tell you. Literally, just get the most perfect lighting that you can find in your apartment, right? And take some banging fire pictures. And you can literally do this maybe once a week. Take many, 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 many pictures and try different things, you know, um, so that you just have them so you can just post throughout the week. So that that way, instead of like um, having to get up every day and put on makeup, you don't have to do that. Just the one time that you put on makeup, you take banging pictures like 10 different banging pictures um maybe like three or four different promo videos um making sure that you are following other girls supporting other girls retweeting other girls something i just found out there is a way you can friend request other girls so you can add other girls as friends and when you do that they're going to um add you back and if they add you back um whoever follows them are it like we'll be able to see that you know you guys are friends and they might want to subscribe to you as well so um if you have girlfriends or if you know like some girls on twitter add them you know get their links add them as a friend your subscribers can see that you guys are friends and like you know look around and like oh maybe i should try her out let me subscribe to her if they're friends and her content is that good let me see she might have some really good content too that's another way to get people to see your stuff get that money sis get that money and don't be shy don't be shy i had a couple of other girls say they're shy they're scared there's nothing to be scared like bitch if you know you're banging someone else is gonna think you're banging like i'm trying to fend them like okay like there are girls out there that literally like guys are sending them money because they're calling them losers like i'm sorry like i'm trying that out if you guys want to see how that turns out make sure you subscribe to my channel because i am going to actually record that as well for my channel for you girls like if you're into that stuff and basically if you're into like dating older men but not really like dating dating older men and you just like want to be pretty and actually like be little men and all of that shit fandom is for you if you are really 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 good at it so you literally have to be very good at dominating a man to be good at fandom so 
I'm gonna try it out because I've been told uh, that I could be daddy, you know. I hope that was helpful. Um, that's the only way that I know that you can market your OnlyFans to make the most money out of it. Go head on to Twitter. And on Twitter, they don't discriminate. You're welcome. Everyone likes you. If you see my Twitter account, mind your business. Go about your day. Don't hop on my DM. Tell about some. I watched it. I watched the video. Uh, how cool. Go about your day, sis. You know what I'm saying? Just retweet me and I will retweet you back. That's just how I do it. Um, for the girls who were reaching out to me about, you know, how to date your daddies and how to date established men and meet rich men and blah, 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 all that great stuff. I have a booklet coming in a couple of weeks. It's only going to be $20. And um, I'm thinking maybe I want to sell it online like do paypal or maybe just do it via cash app and email you guys the booklet but let me know what you think it's going to be easier for you guys um but stay tuned for that because i actually think that book is going to help a lot of you guys get you some money get you some sugar daddy get you an apartment get you a car because honestly i've had three cars bought for me <laughs> it's not even funny it's not even <laughs> it's not even funny like I barely buy a car <laughs> like I barely pay for shit anyways um yeah so stay stay tuned just keep watching yeah subscribe to my channel and I'm sorry if I was all over the place with this video it's just one of those days um yeah I love you guys thank you guys for supporting me it's been an awesome journey and I'm super excited for what's to come so yeah turn on your post notifications subscribe to my channel follow me on Instagram and I will see you guys on my next video bye